Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing a new MOBA that's recently gone into early access called Paragon. This game seems to be quite similar to Smite and was made by Epic Games in Unreal Engine 4. So let's jump right in and see if this is a game worth playing. So this is where you select your hero. Currently there's 14 heroes in game but I'm sure they're going to add a lot more. If you hover over the hero panel it tells you the difficulty and a bunch of other stats which kind of shows what they're good at. This guy looks really cool, he's like the Grim Reaper. I think I want to play as Sparrow though, because she's an archer. And if there's anything I've learned about MOBAs, is always play as an archer at first. They seem to be really noob-friendly heroes. Let's go solo versus AI, let's do this. Just bear in mind that this is an early access game that's still in development, so it's probably going to be a little bit rough around the edges. Hopefully though, we can get a good idea of what the gameplay is actually like. Handy little screen here tells you all your abilities and the keybinds. Pretty standard MOBA controls to be honest. Press G to spend points. Starter deck. Okay, so it looks like we use cards. It's a stunning looking game. Absolutely gorgeous. You can jump and stuff. I don't know if last hitting's a thing in this game. We'll find out, I guess. Right, so this is the tower. I'm guessing you smash this thing to destroy the tower. So my Q seems to be an AoE. Oh, nice. It's like a big hail of arrows. Let's use this ability. Oh my god, I'm taking some damage. Run. Why am I so slow? It takes a while to actually disengage from combat so you can run fast again. It seems like everyone runs really slowly. I think I'm about to go down here. Let's run. Actually, let's hide in the river. So this makes me invisible. So these are essentially the bushes from League of Legends. Don't die to bots, Craig. That's embarrassing. <sighs> nice one. Nice. Good effort. So it seems like instead of items, you use cards. It doesn't seem like there's any items in this game. And you gain card points whenever you kill things. You get XP towards the card points. So these things here seem to be buffs. Imagine it as the dragon in League of Legends, I'm guessing. Press R to unlock. Okay, inner fire. So now we've got our ultimate. So uh, take out this guy. He has no idea what's going to hit him. Oh, that's my ultimate. Fucking ridiculous damage. So to get out of combat, you need to hold shift for a while. And it takes like four seconds and then you can go back. B is recall. When you recall, you get all of your health and energy back. Oh, I see. I thought I'd just run out of things to spend my card points on. You've got all cards. You've got equipment and upgrades. I can spend it on upgrades. Cool. Oh, now we do some mad damage. All right, now we got to go kill the inhibitor. Well, they've actually called it the inhibitor as well. Come on, headshot. Get wrecked. It's definitely the best looking MOBA I've ever played. You can just kind of look around and admire the environments. It's definitely the kind of game you'd want to see a lot of maps for. Pushing with two lanes of super minions. It's looking good for us. Seems like the core defends itself with AoE damage. Big damage. This is chaos. I like it. I think we've won. Push them back. Get out. GG. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Alright, so now we are level 2. One more game that I can join with players. So when you click on this tutorial here, it actually takes you to YouTube and tells you how to play the class. That's kind of handy. It tells you what to get with your cards and stuff, what to focus on upgrading. This guy moves a lot faster. That's more like it. I can imagine it being a nightmare to be a melee character in this game. Alright, what's this do? My E ability. Allows me to teleport forward slightly. Okay. Can we finish? Teleport. Die! There it is. There's the slow. This character's really good. I like this guy. Uh, get my R. Black hole. Well, that's not something that's stolen from Dota 2, is it? Black hole. Okay, let's go in here with a big black hole. Put this down. Black hole. Suck her in. Oh, what? Well, that failed. Something you can definitely say about this game is it's very cool. Everything about it is so fucking cool. Pretty intense when there's big team fights. There's stuff going on all over the place. Alright, let's get stuck in. Here's the ulti. Let's go. 
Uh, I'm not really too sure what it does. Oh, it does actually suck him into the black hole. Nice. Run. Run, 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 run. Wow, that's it. Just walk into the black hole, noob. Die. Fuck you, dude. You're not getting away. I know you shouldn't chase like this in MOBAs, but fuck it. Oh! No! No! Get back! No! <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> Never chase in MOBAs, for fuck's sake. Thank fuck for that. That was the longest game ever. 54 minutes against bots. At least now I can play against players. Alright, so let's see how we do against other players. I can't imagine it going too well. I'm lost. I'm lost. Okay, I've already embarrassed myself. The game hasn't even started. Oh no! Not good. Okay, that was a terrible start by me. Nice one. So we're fighting this boss thing to give a buff or something. Yes. I am so lost. Oh my god, I'm like behind their tower. Not good. Fuck's sake, what am I doing? I am so... Sh Our team's going to hate me so much. I've got so much free farm right now. I might as well just take advantage of it. It's actually getting kind of fun. It's a lot more fun with players. Nice. Picking up the kills. Bye. There we go. This one's going down too. Nice one, team. Now we're doing it. Save me, mum. <sighs> Time for a big black hole. Right, right now, black hole. Here we go. Now we're doing work. Now we're doing it. There it is. Teleport. Let's go. Big plays. I'm actually starting to enjoy this game a lot more now. I think I prefer it over Smite. It's not as fast paced as Smite, but the combat just feels really cool. It's very impactful. It's visually impressive, and I think that goes a long way in this game. In terms of performance, the game's running really well. Guy, there we go. Fuck you, dude. I've got some kind of ball with me. I don't know what that does. Big AoE. Glorious, glorious AoE. I think the guy I'm playing is just fantastic at lane clear. Not good. I just got fucking ganked. There we go. Give us those sweet, sweet super minions. Fall back to Zumi. To Zumi. I told you to fall back. <sighs> Fuck's sake, to Zumi. Well, this looks like a big monster. You alright, mate? This one takes a lot to get down. There we go. Not really too sure what we get for killing this guy. Right, there's like four of them. Probably a good idea to move back, friend. Kazumi, I've told you about this before. We retreat. We retreat, Kazumi. Oh, this guy's getting wrecked. GG. No re. MLG. Oh, nice, we actually won. I didn't even see that. The super minions did all the work. 10 kills, 9 deaths, 10 assists. Got to level 15. Yeah. That was a decent amount of fun, actually. I wasn't bored or anything. I didn't get too stressed. Which is rare for me playing a MOBA. MOBAs usually stress me the fuck out pretty intensely. This hero is unlocked at player level 7. Fuck my life. Oh, let's try Twin Blast. This guy is the recommended starter hero. Yeah, this is a really boring character to play. Usually the starter heroes are, though, to be fair. This Twin Blast character is so unbelievably boring, I can't finish the game with him. He's that bad. I think this character I'm playing is more of a support than anything. Nice one. Just fucking walk into him whilst you're low on health. You're a smart cookie. Now I'm taking some fucking ham damage though. Time to run. 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 Takes four days to fucking run. Look how slow this is. Holy fuck, we're both so damn slow. Die. Die. 
It's like hedgehogs fighting. There we go. I definitely think the base movement speed in combat is far too slow. It's almost like we're walking. They should increase it by about 10 or 20%, I think, across the board. The movement speed when traveling is absolutely fine, though. Die. Got it. There's the stun. Oh my god, this guy hits hard. Not good. Die! Die! No one has ever done that! No one has ever done that in the history of Dota! Oh my god, we got him. We got him. Now I'm gonna die. Run. Run, run, run. The plays. The big plays. She's not going anywhere. There it is. Setting up the kills. Put him in the containment fence. You ain't going anywhere, friend. Oh, that was nice. He managed to teleport out. Get in there, boys. Big ring. There's the finish. There's the stun. This guy's going nowhere. Oh my god, that was sick. I kind of like this character. Very CC heavy support. Great in team fights. Right, we want even more health. It takes a long time to kill people in this game. You can't really just go in with a wombo combo and wreck someone super quick. It takes a lot of time. It would probably take about four days for me to kill a super minion on my own with this sick damage. Like, I'm trying to help my team with instructions, but I don't think any of them can read whatsoever. Right, let's get in here. Coming from behind. Big ulti. Right now. Stun. Lands the stun. There's the black hole. That's one down. Surely. There it is. There's the stun. I'm here on my own. I'm fucked. GG. No re. Fuck me. There's nothing worse than playing a MOBA with a team that just doesn't communicate. It's really annoying. With a team that just can't read. A team that's totally illiterate. I might as well be playing with bots right now, to be honest. I don't know what it is about MOBAs, but it turns me into the most toxic gamer. The super minions mean business. <laughs> Right, starter deck fighter or tank? Um, I want to be a fighter. Look at this guy. Isn't he cool? He's the fucking Grim Reaper. Coolest character in the game. Wielding a big fucking hammer. You can really feel the weight behind his attacks. Alright, so from what I understand with this guy, I need to like use my siphon ability to get souls. Here we go. Now we're coming in hot. Oh, fuck. Clearly gone too. Fuck me. I am so bad. Alright, fucking get stuck in there. On the tank. The thing that baffles me about MOBAs is that people just don't understand how to look at the map. Oh my god, this is so shit. Fuck this. Rage quit. Fuck you. Let's try this guy. He's got really good ability power. The loading screen's a little bit bugged at the moment. Everyone just kind of jumps down and does the intro animation over and over. Oh, I think last hitting is a thing in this game. It actually gives you the upgrade points. So you do want to try and last hit. Right, let's recall. Oh, this is my recall animation. Now we're doing some work. Wow, that damage. I really like this character. There it is. No scope, no problem. Fucking big damage. Fucking die, I don't give a shit. Fuck. Ah, uh, I never learn my lesson. Don't chase kills every time. When will I learn? I will never learn. This guy got like no awareness. GG. GG, well played. That was fun. I quite like the robot character. I'm going to try Murdoch. He has really high basic attack power, but really terrible mobility. So we'll see. There we go. Double kill. 
This is such a right-click heavy hero. I like this character. He does some fucking mad damage. Oh, now we're going to do some work. Die. Get wrecked. Get fucking wrecked. Big team fight here. Another one down. And that's a double kill. We're doing pretty well. We're 5 to 0 at the moment. I think once you play a character that you really enjoy, this game becomes awesome. Where are you going, friend? You ain't going nowhere. You dead. Oh my god, he's about to get destroyed. GG. Oh, they surrendered. Ah. I was having fun. They always surrender when you're having fun. Every time, in every MOBA. I think I'm gonna have one more game and probably call it a day. I think I'll do another game with Sparrow. I didn't really understand her when I played against bots. Pretty sure you don't take any full damage in this game, so you can just go up to any height and just jump here. Yay, I'm getting last hit. So you're proud of me, Dad. All right, let's smash this tower, shall we? There we go. Beautiful. Die. Fuck. She can run fast. Oh, oh my god. Sick. Fucking big damage. Pop the ulti. Go fucking ham. I'll sacrifice myself for the core. I did pretty shit to that game, but I still had a lot of fun. Okay, so I feel like I've probably seen enough of Paragon for now. I've played for about five hours at this point, and I have to say, the more I played it, the more I started to enjoy it. Once I started to understand how everything worked, at first it was a little bit confusing, as it is with all new games. So as always with this series, guys, now we're going to talk about the pros and the cons, the good things and the bad things, starting with the pros. Just bear in mind that this is a first impressions and not a review, so please treat it as such. Visually, the game is very impressive. Unreal Engine 4 really shines in this game, and due to all the particle effects and good graphical fidelity, it makes Paragon feel like a really epic game. The game does a good job of naturally teaching you how to play. Whilst recording this video, I didn't look at any guides, and after a few games, I'd figured out the basics and got comfortable with the controls and user interface. I'd consider myself a very average MOBA player, so if I can figure it out, then most people can. Each of the heroes look really cool and have some impressive abilities, although some of them are almost identical to ones used in League of Legends and Dota 2. But hey, this is the MOBA genre we're talking about. Originality isn't something you come to expect anymore. The game has a solid soundtrack with very impactful sound effects during the combat, as well as a really good announcer. In Paragon, there's two types of movement, travel mode and in combat mode. When in combat, your hero moves much slower in comparison to travel mode, and to enter travel mode, you need to avoid being attacked for like 4 seconds whilst holding down shift. Whilst this does make the game feel slower than your typical mode, but I do think it adds some extra gameplay and something to think about. The game feels a lot like a combination of a third-person shooter as well as a MOBA due to a lot of attacks not being telegraphed and the map being designed with different levels of height. Upon release, Paragon will be totally free to play and according to their website, all the heroes will be free as well. So now let's talk about the cons. When in combat, your movement speed kind of feels too slow to the point where it's like you're walking. Personally, I feel like they should up the in-combat movement speed across the board by about 10 or 20%. Due to the way you build your hero in this game, I feel like the meta and Paragon may not be as strong as in other MOBAs. This is due to there not being a whole lot of cards to choose from at the moment when upgrading your stats. This is, however, something that could easily be addressed through adding more cards with different stats. Due to the graphics being really good, I can't imagine this game would run too well if you've got a potato of a computer. For this reason, I can't see Paragon getting a larger player base than most of the other stylized MOBAs. The last thing is kind of subjective, but I don't feel like the heroes in this game have much personality. Yes, they're all pretty cool, but it just feels like they're missing something. Overall, I feel like Paragon is shaping up to be a really decent MOBA. I actually found myself enjoying it a lot more as I put more time into it. It's not the most fast-paced MOBA, but it's still fun, and the few issues I had with it could easily be solved. As it's going to be a free-to-play game on release, I would recommend giving it a try if you've got a PC that can run it smoothly. You've got nothing to lose. So that's it for this video, guys. If you've had the chance to play Paragon or you want to share your thoughts on the game, then please leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video. You take it easy, and I'll see you again really soon. Dodge! Heal, 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 heal. Come on, come on, come on. Dad! Dad! Die! Oh, we got him. We got him. Oh, my God. That was so hard.